maybe a centralizing too. Kub. Kub. Not kub. And that has to do with tongue position caused by the uvular. So classing it with the so-called emphatics, we, we hear a mutation of the vowel quality. Basically, e. button here. Club. Club. Uh, uh. In the sh area of the schwa, I would say. Club. Cough. Long. Initial Q has two dots above. Cough. Cough. And it darkens the ah. Kib. Kib. This is a K, the velar one. No such effect on the vowel. Kib. The tongue is in a high position, so it can do a high vowel. Quite easily. Kib. Kub. Kub. Same thing. High vowel. K is a high consonant. Meaning the position of the tongue body is high up in the mouth, in the possible space. So maybe what emphatic really means, well, maybe it's not a single thing, actually. But one thing about emphatic consonants, let's get in the chat. Just an arbitrary name. I mean, what it means is tongue body is lowered, which has an effect on the quality of the vowel, naturally. Ka. Ke, the ba this K here, and Ka, which we spell with Q, they're just sounds made involving <clears throat> contact in different regions of the mouth. They're both at the back of the tongue. All right, Levi has got a joke for you. What do you say when you make a mistake in your Sanskrit suffixes? Uh, my guess is, I don't think it's right, but I'm going to say, you know, sup. Kub, with a K, initial K. Kub. Nice height. Cub. Cub. Not cab. Cub. Cub. They're both long ah sounds with different shades of a. Uh oh, there is something wrong. Yep, something. It's got them both. They're very nice. And it would be a nasal oo because it's an it letter. Something, right? It's a. The weak nasal P or a nasalized vowel. So even closer. <clears throat> Alright, let us as was like I like doing it on two streams. I don't know. I hope the viewers don't find it confusing. Let's take a little pause here. And we need to get the sounds of the Sanskrit paradigms in our ear here. Again. It's just good to repeat so how just I'm out shas tab yam bhis nge biham bhis nga si biham bhis nga so sam nge osup so how just I'm out shas so how just I'm out shas tab yam bhis nge biham bhis nga si biham bhis Nga-so-sam-nge-o-sub. <coughs> Cub. Cab. Cab. Listen to the different R sound. Cab. Cub. 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 Hard for English native speakers to hear that difference between the K and the Q. Cub. For the Q, we have to sort of reach a bit. It's the marked one. 
term is emphatic, but it means with tongue body lowered in this case. Kub, initial Q, but that's that would be a kub. Kub. Yeah. And with the u, short vowel quality. Kub. That's the sign of the dhamma above it. Keb. 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 Kub. Keb. Kub. Keb. 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 Kib. Kub. Kib. 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 There, we have to reach even more. The, from the position of the k is so hostile that we have to. It takes us a while to get to the, to the tongue, to the e position. Kib. Kib. It's just at a lower starting position there. Kib. 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 Oops. Precisely not that one. Kibba with the uvular. Kibba. Cob. Cob. B has one dot below. One below is B. Cab. Initial K. Cab. Kib. Initial K. Short I. It's there. Kib. Single line below for I. It's called a kasra. That vowel, that letter shape. Ism Amriki Yijamil. I should say, welcome back to Language Institute. I'm your verb ally, beginning this evening's Arabic. So. As big as it gets, I think. No? We could go in nice and close. Let me know. Amriki. Isim Amriki. Oh, that's right. It looks like two words. Amriki. Amriki. With a double Amriki. 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 Isim Amriki Jamil. Is it really Amriki? Amriki. I think it's a short I. Amriki. Jamil. Pretty. <clears throat> Isim Amriki Jamil. An American name is pretty. A pretty American name. Ismi Rawed. Ismi Rawed. It's a sentence. My name is me. My name is me. So stem ism and the suffix e. There is no to be here. And is a word. Hel anti doctora ya ustaza. Anti feminine. You pronoun. Uh, hel, hel for the yes no question. Hel anti doctora ya ustaza. Are you a doctor, professor? Hell is me, Kerry. Hell is me. Is me. So I think that's speaking to a man. Kerry is me. But K is always there for second person possessor. Is me. Is muka. If it's to a feminine person. And then Kerry name. Is your name Kerry? Hell is Mac Omar? Hell is Mac Omar. Now here, is Mac, different vowel. Hell is Mac Omar? Maybe I misremember. Is your name? Maybe it's ik, feminine, ek, masculine, addressy. Is your name Omar? Oops. Hell and the Doctoria Ustav? Hel ente, masculine, doctor, masculine, ya usted, oh professor. Should say non feminine, right? There's just no suffix on it. Final a ah for feminine nouns and adjectives. Hel 
Ibn Duktur is your son. No, is the son. Hel oh wait, that's not that is. Enta. Enta, are Hel you a doctor pro professor? All right. Why do you think Arabic is so small? Might have to do with the direction. I don't know. It's. It doesn't have to be very big as long as you have. Because the letter shapes are so distinct, they allow that, I think, would be one in five. Are you so? It's, to be a doctor is the predicate in the core of the sentence, expressed with just a noun. The hal at the beginning signals that it's going to be a yes no question. Are you a doctor? Yeah is a particle of address when you're turning towards someone and naming them with their name or their title. Professor, question. Ma smik ya usteda? Ma smik ya usteda? Ma is the word what? Ma. Ma for what? What is your name? Then evocative, addressing someone, professor, female. Madam professor. Ma smik wa aina baytik ya ustada. Ma smik wa aina baytik ya ustada. Wa aina bayta. Ma smik wa aina baytik ya ustada. Baytik ya ustada. Okay. Get there. Ma smik wa aina baytik ya ustada. Ma smik. Ismik. We've got, yeah, with ismik. the kasra. Ismik. Ma ismik. Ma ismik. Wa aina baytik ya ustada? Aina. Wa ain. The word and. At the front of the stem there. Ma ismik. Wa aina baytik ya ustada? Baytik. Oh, aina. I am your daughter. <laughs> baytik. Wait. Ma smik wa aina baytik ya ustada? Bait is the house, not the daughter. Baytik. Baytik. Ya. Ya. Ustada, right? Ustada. Ma smik wa aina baytik ya ustada? Ustada. Stays in ash there. Ustada. Ve. Ustada. No emphatics here. In that noun, I mean, let's see, elsewhere. Ma ismik. Or ain't it no emphatics in the whole sentence. Ma smik wa aina baytik ya ustada? Aina baytik. Not quite sure. Where is your house? Aina baytik. Creepy question. Is ustada. A nice sequence of the teeth, the tooth shapes here in this one. Ba, y, t. All have the same basic skeletal shape there. Ma smak ya ustad. Ma smak ya ustad. What is your name, professor? Isma Arabi. Isma Arabi. So no possessive marker, just a name that is Arabic. An Arabic name. هل أنت مهندسة يا أستاذة؟ مهندسة إنجنير. هل أنت مهندسة يا أستاذة؟ هل أنت مهندسة يا أستاذة؟ T N T. N T. E is one suffix to show feminine. N T. On the pronoun. هل. Otherwise in. مهندسة. مهندسة. You. Ustada, oh professor. Ismi maha wa ana zakiya. Ismi maha wa ana zakiya. My name is maha and I am smart. This word for this word for professor, sir, reminds me of Spanish formal. You usted, nice, yeah, very good. Just a happy accident. 
Usted. Something like this. Vuestra merced. Your grace. In Spanish. Usted. So. Like to use, well, here. Let's use D apostrophe for the inner dental. The. Usted. The. Usted. With the feminine suffix shown after usted. Usted. The. I think it's from Arabic root. Well, but it could have been from Spanish. Let's find out. Usted. The key. I'm going to type it with A, even though it doesn't sound that way. D apostrophe. What would be the root set of that, maybe? But I don't know it in other words. Stead. Now considered an art. Oh, in Persian. What about the Arabic? Oh, maybe it just comes from Persian. Proto-Iranian, Hawastatas. Kurdish hoste, West, uh, verbal noun of, of Proto-Iranian, Hawastahyati. All right, so ya is a verb stem deriving suffix. T, the person marker. Hawasta. From Hawa and Stahyati. From stocheity to cause to stand. Look at that. Root stech. This one. Stead. Why doesn't it show the Arabic word? Something. Oh, uh, no. That one has the. Okay. It seems I don't, I'm not clever enough to master that right now. Ism Jadid. Ism Jadid, a new name. So I, my feeling is that if you have no definite marker, instead of taking this noun plus <coughs> adjective as a sentence, if there's no definite marker, that means it's general or singular, uh, indefinite. And it's a single noun phrase, whereas al ism jadid would be the name is new. That would be a sentence. Ismi rawed wa ana mumtaz. Ismi rawed wa ana mumtaz. My name is rawed, and I'm amazing. Hal ismi kranya. Ismik Rania is your name. Helismik Rania. Rania. And I think this Hel. Hel. Uh, is in fact the copula. I think its original value in the language. Or in, the, in an earlier stage. Copy. Let me keep it here. It's verb initial, as it should be. Uh, it's you know sentence initial. Sentence begins with a the sentence is verb initial, and the verb is sentence initial. And it also gives the article al, or it's somehow connected with al in Arabic and Hebrew. Ha, per click. Or maybe not. Maybe there that's a fusion of those two or something. What is your name? Ma ismik. Usted. Ma and oh, just M A will do, right? Ma. Oh, what is your name? Yeah, is so A S M K. A S T A. D apostrophe. Oh, maybe the Hamza should be there. How do I get the Hamza? Cannot tell you how many types, times I typed a noun phrase in Hebrew, and the correct answer was the sentence. Yeah, it's 
it takes getting used to for non V1 speakers, I think. Wait, but that's oh, so Hebrew the sentence is differently ordered, isn't it? But there is is there a zero cop copula? How do I get the Hamza though? Was my oh, here I can just type as a single character. Okay. Ooh. Now it would be E. I want it above. And then S is a Ustav. Ma ismik ya Ustav. Oh, sir. Yeah. The particle we need there. Y A. Oops. What is your name and where is your house, sir? Ma ismik wa. And then the word wa. And something. ASMK then a for and zero copula. Only difference is the definite marking. Let's do that next and compare and then maybe Irish or Celtic or something. Irish or <laughs> Gaelic. Something Celtic where it's also verb initial. Get that topic, but it's good to good to practice till we get there. What is your name and where is your house? The word where uh, a, Aina, yeah, A Y N Aina house bait and then ik baitik B Y T K yeah Ustad A S T A D apostrophe. Ma ismik waaina baitik ya ustad. One more time. So au jas, am out shas, ta biham bhis, nge biham bhis, nasi biham bhis, naso sam, nge usup. Hagezer tayim, right. The carrot is tasty, that's a sentence. Versus hagezer hatayim, the tasty carrot. Yeah, with the, good. That's an interesting solution to that. You kind of have to disambiguate these. The carrot, and I mean the tasty one, that specific one. I think Greek does article doubling similarly. Actually, no. Well, in some ways, not quite the same way. So I'll just, I'm out shas, ta biham bhis, nge biham bhis, nasi biham bhis, naso sam, nge osup. Let's, and let's just hear the sutras. I need them in my ear. And I think it'd be good to review the technical terms, the ones that are also vocabulary words. So from the very beginning, Vrdhiradaich, Vrdhi is an actual word of the language. It's a feminine one. It means growth, increase, and a bunch of things like that. What else have we seen? Let's keep, let's keep a list going. You can just type it, enter it any way you like. Things that are actual words of Sanskrit. Let's hear it from the Yogeshwaran. Need to be late for that. Sutra ka Om Ayuna Rudra ka Evom. Ayyavuj, Hayavarat, Lan, Nyamanganam, Jabhan, Ghadhadash, Jabhagadash, Kapha, Chatha, 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 Kapha, Shashasar, Hal, 
इति महेश्वरा सूत्रा अथ प्रथमोध्याय प्रथम पाद वृद्धिराज अदेगुण गुण इज एन एवरीडे वर्ड इको गुण वृद्धि न धातु लोप आर्ध धातु के धातु इज एन एवरीडे वर्ड एंड लोप हैज अ मीनिंग डोंट नो हाउ एवरीडे इट इज दे आर डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम वर्ब रूट्स फर्स्ट वन फ्रॉम द रूट धा द सेकंड वन फ्रॉम लूप संयोग्य Can you tell me the meanings of the ones we've collected so far? Whenever you see a noun, well, not always, but a very common one. Did he be be? Those are roots. So yes and no. The verb roots aren't are by definition not fin you know, finite words by themselves. They're grammarians' abstractions, so they're not quite the group that I mean. So next would be gurna. Tell me, just tell me if you don't know Guna, and, but I want to uh, jog your memory, give your memory a chance to jog. Mukha nasika, vachano no nasika. That's full of real words. So I would mean real words, actual words of the Sanskrit language, which is here being described. Tulya vita, didhi ve vita, halo nantara sanyoga. मुखनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोनोनासिकोन
Sanyoga joined. Exactly. The word yoga, union, joining, yoking. That's the one. Some together. Some in its meaning overlaps with the Latin cum, cum, and the Greek sun, but they're all distinct roots. And intro, perfect. We'll see, this. Uga tova. see this distinction here as we go. Ani ochel. Oh, what's this? What's the sound? Oga. And then tova. Good one. So feminine now. Ani ochel uga tova. Uga. She eats a good cake. Ani. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Ochel with a zero suffix there. Kelev ra. Kelev ra, a dog that is something. Bad dog. Ha'im hen tovot? Ha'im. So let's think of this. Ha'im. How does that connect? It's got the ha. This is also a yes-no marker, right? Seems to be what it is here. What is being joined by like exercising yoga more broad than just exercise? Yeah, it's, I think your union to the discipline, but I don't really know. Let's find out. The yogas. <laughs> or not that either. Yoga. What's the metaphor? So. As in Chinese, when you have a long, long written history for a language, the words, especially simple, apparently simple words, will acquire oodles of meanings. App employment use among them, so aside from the yoking, the basic root meaning. Employment use application performance, equipping arraying, fixing of an arrow on the bowstring, putting on armor. Supernatural means, trick, stratagem, undertaking, junction, union, combination, contact, saha is the word with, mixing, partaking, possessing, fitting together, fitness, propriety, suitability, exertion, so like kung fu, endeavor, zeal, diligence, time invested in a thing. You never hear just one oodle. That's right, plural only. I'd like 1.2 oodles, please. All right, now, 21, our concept of yoga, application or concentration of the thoughts, abstract contemplation, meditation, self-concentration, abstract meditation, and mental abstraction practiced as a system. Good old mouthful. So, sort of a resonating of lots of these prior meanings big carpet of related in, interrelated web of meanings here but it's important for us so what's the root form here did I already give that oh, I did for some word so for this word yoga yeah that one wasn't spelled out it was just mentioned in some yoga what is how would a Sanskrit grammarian give the root form of this root? English word yoke is a cognate. Grimm's law relates the g to a k. That's uh, joch in German. Uh, Zugon in Greek. Zu, probably from an older u. Gon, oops, that, that was going to be ac Zugon with an accent on the o in Greek. Is the yoke. Ha'im, hen, they, tovot, uh, are they good? Hagvarim tovim. Hagvarim tovim. All right. So a single definite article. It's a specific group of men, the men. So this is a sentence. Adjective agrees and says they are good. The unmarked adjective, yuj. Very close. It is actually because the o is seen as derived, that's the gurna shape, uh, de degree of it. 
we also have yuj, and so that is the citation form. What the o represents is short a uh, and u, uh, au. We're uh, short that the au, what we spell au with our writing system, transliteration system, represents a double length of that au. Same for a, what we write is a is exactly i, just if a consonant follows, and what we write as i structurally is this. AI. So O A of course, Gurna, Ao, and I are the Brti. And U is the underlying vowel there. Anachnu Tovim Loraim. Urna basically means virtue quality. Anachnu Tovim Loraim. We Anachnu Tovim are good. לא רואים. אנחנו טובים, לא רעים. רעים. בוקר טוב או לילה טוב? בוקר, מה זה? מורנינג, טוב או לילה, נייט, טוב. בואו מסקולן נאונס. היא לא ילדה רעה. היא לא ילדה רעה. She's not a bad girl. אתן נשים טובות, לא רעות. אתן נשים טובות, לא רעות. אתן... אתן... you... plural female. נשים you... Are women who are good? You're a good woman. Not bad. Hem ra'im, hen ra'ot. Hem ra'im, hen ra'ot. Ra'im, they, they men are bad. Ra'im, hen, female, plural. Hem ra'im, hen ra'ot. Ra'ot, also are bad. Everybody's bad. But just with different suffixes, what female plural, im, non-feminine plural. At ra'a. At ra'a. You, I think, that is the, yeah, the adjective form tells us. At, without a final vowel, is feminine. You are bad. Ze tov. Ze, this is good. Tov. Ra'im, 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 is, now, this ha, oh, atem, at, atem, you, plural, atem, ra'im, you are bad. Ha'ima tova. Ra'im, ha'ima tova, a sentence, because the noun is definite. And the adjective is unmarked, it's verbal. The mother is good. It's predicate-y. Ze-ra. Ze-ra. This is bad. Now, ze doesn't have an article on it, but it is definite. Yalda tova. Like translating hen and him as ellas and ellos, respectively. It doesn't work for second person. Right, Spanish Romance languages don't make that distinction unless you had ustedo, usteda, eventually. <laughs> It's a future Spanish. Yelda tova. Yelda tova. Girl unmarked. Tova means a good girl, I think. Hmm. Wish that wasn't the period there. It's not a sentence. Ani ochel uga tova. I ochel uga tova, feminine noun, and the I eat good cake. Boker tov o laila tov. Boker tov o laila tov. Good morning. 
for the Wonderfully relevant, and the checkpoint is next. Akelev holech. Akelev singular definite. Holech. This one. Walking dot holech walks goes. Kelev Holech And I think a zero ending there. It's all root. Dog walks. At hmm. At what is it? Guess there. Best there. Solita, solita, solita. Ani ochel tapuach. Ani ochel. I eat an orange. Tapuz. This one's the apple. Ooh, how can I remember that? The thing that distinguishes it is just that last letter. What's aptly about that? Ani ochel tapuach. It's just an apple, indefinite, unmarked. Sli, oh slicha is that one? Ani lo something. Ivri, ivrit. Don't speak Hebrew. Sorry, slicha. Sorry, thank you. Or lechem, yeah. Uh, slicha, sorry. Hmm. Feminine noun, apparently. And then any law. Uh, I don't remember the verb speak, but it's going to have no ending on it. Madabach. Night. And we just saw it, but I'm going to cheat. Because I am so smart. Laila. אני רוצה אפרסק בבקשה. אני רוצה אפרסק בבקשה. אני רוצה אפרסק. אני רוצה אפרסק בבקשה. בבקשה. אני רואה. אני רוצה אפרסק בבקשה. רוצה. Uh, is that uh, uh, a C maybe? Capital S. Farsec. Farsec. Beva Kesha. Should have reviewed before we did this. The girl sees Hayeda. Uh, the, 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 sees Hoa. Hoat, it would be then, I think. Hoat. Hoa. Hoa. 
final H. So wa wa what is it? Aleph and then hat. O U A H. The girl sees. Hi ya da wa. Mazal tov tal. Mazal tov tal. Mazal. Tov. U. B. Tal. Dad, how are you? Abba, Abba. Ma shlich shlomech. Ma shlomech. עם אמא באה. עם אמא באה. האם אמא באה? האם אמא באה? האם אמא באה? האם אמא באה? Let's do it there. I want a peach, please. <laughs> that one I was asking about. Okay. Let's see. Mashlom, mashlomcha. Thank you in the masculine. Mashlomech. It will have the shava. Two dots. Mashlomech. Under the, under the sheen letter there. Good. Mashlomcha, that's so nice. Is that a plural? Mashlomcha. Mashlomech. Okay, since it's been long, I think. The Scottish game. And that's what I put on that, that gender. Let's go to there. So I'll just some out just tab him be his maybe I'm just gonna see them be us and also some new soup tip does he sip test her me first must that this will be our next little paradigm so I'll just some out tip does G it's here on the left side that's our third person sip does that with the two aspirates so in this one, okay, G we'll discuss. G H doesn't actually occur in the surface form and right in the final word. J H there, J is a cover symbol for the set of alternates. Unt. No, rather unt. Not without the uh. The uh belongs to the stem, and if this can be either unt, unti. So just nt, then the e is already expressed in g, or it'll be just a t by itself with no n. There are rules governing that. And that so this is just a placeholder, this g in third plural. Ma shlomech shlomcha? Oh, like that. Okay, shlomcha Ma Shlomech. That is so small on the screen. <laughs> Shlomech. 
interesting. It's counterintuitive. Usually feminine you associate with final vowel and masculine with final consonant, but here it's reversed. Not that. Uh, Bias nga si Bian. Bias nga so sam nga soup. Tip tas G. Tip tas G, the first triplet. P sip tas ta. Sip tas ta. Think of our uh, thou goest. The S of that is like this sip. Mip was mus. Mip was mus. The M is like in our word am. That's the same M. Us me. So from the root us, just those plural. Oh, yeah. That's it. There we go. Never mind that. Let's review our intro. Get a nice gold going here. Column I S E I. Eli. Uh, ha Eli Moor. Moor, moor. I think like this. Iron brew, ayes coo. Iron brew, ayes and a dog. Coo. A chicken and a kitten. Pishak, kark. Ayes. This one's pishak or pitchak. Pishak. Sho kerk ayes iron brew. Kerk ayes iron brew. Sho this. So a verbless one here too. Where the sho is kind of the. It's a dictic, right? But it is being repurposed. It's, it's, pragmatically, it's like having a verb there. Sho kerk. Which reminds us uh, the development of this Chinese word, shi. Starts out as a word meaning this in Old Chinese. Came to be reinterpreted as the copula to be. And also be true. Be the case and so on. Might be going on with this sort of shaw construction and the hal haim of Semitic. Got another joke. What do you call enough chickens? Ker galor. Galior. Ker galior. Ker galior. Don't quite get it. What What else does that allude to? A boy and a girl. Not buahal, but balach. A strong one. Looks like a Sanskrit. Adjective meaning strong, balam, and a girl. Ah, yes. Sounds like kart galore. Oh, right enough. That's what I was missing. Thank you. That is funny. <laughs> Kaliak. Ka the I and the E to palatalize. Show palatalization. Kaliak. So it's got G and L like girl in the opposite order. Gel. Gel for girl is kind of a compromise between that and, the, and this Celtic word. Column Ayas Pishak. Column name Ayas and a kitten. Pishak. A duck. Laha Tunak. Ayas Pishak. Donna Ayas Moor. Donna Brown? Something else. Moor big. Bad and big. Okay. What's Irish for bad? Ha Ian Donna. Ian is bad. Bad and big. Donna Ayas Moor. Show Iron Brew. This is iron brew. This iron brew. And we know that the underlying verb should, well, no, we don't. I was going to say, we, is it like this? Is it zero shaw or is it sh 
star followed by a zero. <laughs> I need to know. How can I ever find out? <laughs> Mook Agus Koo. Agus Koo. Pig and a dog. Koo Agus Cat. A dog and a cat. Show on the Agus Kask. This is Anna and a chicken. Ku ayas baloch. Ku ayas baloch. With raising a bit of a and so little two baloch. Ku ayas baloch. A dog and a boy. Cat ayas baloch. Cat and a boy. Baloch. Ha. Ha eli mor. Ha eli. Moor. Ellie is big. Gaelic is nice. Ha. Ga. Gaelic. What's the spelling? Gaelic. Gaelic. Snock. Not. Not. Not schlecht, olk is one, there's also droch, which is a prefix. Not schlecht. I forget what the question was now. <laughs> it feels like a 20 minute delay to me when I'm in the zone. Um, olk, that would be olk, right? Uh, get a parenthesis. Gaelic is not bad. Ni chanil Gaelic Donna. Oh, for okay. We're talking about what was the Irish for bad? I remember now. Olak is one. Droch. Oh, interesting. Let's look those up. Olak. German word came to mind first. Ah, indeed. Busche schlecht. Schlecht janayo. Question was what? Yeah, thank you. Irish for bad. Uh, this one is fascinating. Ulkos. Evil, bad, misfortune, grudge. Oh, from wolf? Ulkos. If the, etym if the etymology from the Proto Indian word for wolf is correct, how cool. We found. The old wolf <laughs> is the bad one. Like a taboo avoid or a ta taboo sort of swapping of noun with adjective. How cool. Chelk. Ilchilaz in Germanic. Latin ulcus wound or sore. Elkos in Greek. Wound ulcer. Arsha. Hemorrhoids. <laughs> the wolves. Oh, okay. No, no, this is a separate, yeah, Helk, or alternatively from Indo-European, Wulk was the wolf, though both the phonology and the semantics are difficult. In this case, should be reconstructed Wulk was. Speaking of the wolf, it's a nice example of a thematic noun. Let's look at, now that we know pretty much the basic case endings, Look, the most common noun. It's actually quite deviant in terms of the markers. Vurkaha. Vurka. Vurka. The Vedic, in Vedic, the first syllable is accented. Vurka is the wolf, cognate. Latin. Lupus. Greek. Lupus. Wolf comes from an older. Wolfas. Z is the case ending, lupus, S is the su, Greek, lukos. And so, we're going to have singular, we're going to have some dual, and some plural. Start out with nominative. So, maybe we'll take a little bit of space, put the basic marker for each one, su. When we add su to the vrka stem, the outcome is vr 
カハー。The final S becomes an H in a coda, an H like sound. Here, the basic exponent is AU. And the word name, let's save a space there. So, what I'm doing is I'm putting the, our basic case number exponent first. With a long diphthong. And in the plural, it's JESS. And what that gives us is Vurkaha. Really, we could segment it here. Vurka, the stem, and the basic aha from this us. But since it's a single phoneme, it's just it's a convenient fiction to do that. We need to recognize that it's a single vowel sound, not really to be segmented itself. Derived by rules. Second case is accusative. Basic marker is um, it's of course wurkum, like lupum in Latin. No change. Well, actually, there is a change. After the uh in the stem, this one gets deleted. It's not a long vowel here. Yes, this is what's with Panini, one of the things Panini's grammar does. It does it with disparate sutras all over the place. Good, I hope so. Let's do it this way for several nouns. It looks like a bewildering jungle of different paradigms you have to uh, memorize, but if you just relate them to these basic ones, it saves you some trouble, maybe, perhaps. Burkao. So homophonous forms, but the underlying names of the morphemes are different. Same here, shes. With a palatal, this one it gives burkan, a different outcome. It's a different sh phonetic shape, underlyingly. And then, yeah, like this. We're gone. Is accusative plural. Third case is instrumental. The marker is da. And the, this one, a substitute affix, is called for. It is virkina. I think. I don't think that one will retroflex. Even though it's after R, I believe the K blocks it. Let's check. Virka. Let's go to this one. Just add it here, little plus. Look at that. Hittite in hieroglyphs. Walkua, something negative. Olg, evil. Avurka, so not having a wolf, meaning safe, not wild. Urkata, savagery. This is wonderful stuff. I don't want to read all of this on stream right now. Let's go to the Indo-Iranian Vurkas. Vurka is the one we want. Let's get the inflection there. Why does shes become un? Excellent question. What shes actually represents is an Indo-European ns suffix. Let's look at uh, accusative plural of Indo-European. The ns tends to vocalize in Sanskrit, also in Greek, but in, in so that ns sequence gives you an nn uh, underlying, I believe, cluster in, or long consonant in Sanskrit at one stage. The ns of Indo-European really seems to go back to, an, a, it looks like it could be, Accusative singular, S, uh, M rather, M for accusative, S for plural. It could be a composite ending with assimilation then taking place within Indo-European. So in Greek, in, yeah, let's do Greek first, as I said, luko is the stem, and this accusative plural form is lukus, spelled omicron, epsilon, sigma, lukos, maybe a diphthong. Probably at one stage a nasal diphthong. Lukos, actually, rep it's almost definitely this. Os, ons. So a long nasal o there is the rich is the older Greek ending, the common Greek one. Where the where the o is blowing to the stem, so lengthening the vowel and adding s is accusative word. In Latin, it was lupos. 
And I think in Germanic, it would have been Wolfos. And preserved as such, just here in Sanskrit it is. In this Burkan form. Alright, back to the paradigm. Okay, now, instrumental dual. Alright, it is, maybe I'll save space because it's such a long ending. It's no changes needed. Burka the stem and then Pyam. Now, here it's more. Is more involved. This is the basic exponent, but the form in this class of noun for this case is vrkaihi, diphthong s. So think of ois in Greek. Dative. The basic exponent, ni. The form here, as we've mentioned once or twice, is vrkaya. So a replacement, ya, comes instead of or it's you can view it as gradation with some extra uh added to the end of it. Same form here. Burka pyam repeats. And this one, instead of the expected burka bhyaha, right? The basic pyas is there. This one becomes vr we get a change in the stem final. Vrki pyaha. Well, I was gonna double check the Sanskrit inflection. That's what I was going for here, specifically Vrkan. Vrkau. Vrkam. Okay, and in Vedic there was an older sort of double plural. Vrkas with another uh -huh added on to that. With an SS added, as it were. Vrkaihi, Vrkebhihi. This is older, dropped out of. In classical Sanskrit it was just aihi for instrumental plural. Vrkebhihi. All right, but let me not do it by copying, but for memory and sort of comparing here. Ablative next. Panchami vibhakti nasi. And do e lowercase, even though it's indicatory, because it's not an L. This one gives vrkat. Vrkat. On a T or D, it's the same thing. In the native tradition, they tend to prefer writing a voiced for word final. And this one repeats the form above. Vrka pyam, this one repeats as well. Genitive. Instead of the basic us, as in asi, no. This one is nas. We get a replacement. It is, or an extension of it rather. Replacement. Vrkasya, like we had in sha kalyasya. Here, an old Greek ending corresponding to asya. Osio. Genitive, dual, we get a new yo, uh, os is the basic one. And it's, okay, I'll write it out first. It's vrkayoho. Vrkayoho. What I'm putting are absolute forms, if they were uh, sentence final. Okay, and then genitive plural am. Vrkarn. Oh, I was checking on the retroflexion in the instrumental singer. That's what got us. Okay, Vrkarna. It is retroflex. Some consonants will block that action, so the R carries the retroflex quality. The R carries through the word and changes the N, basic dental into a retroflex. If it had been a T there, a dental T, that would have been stopped. And this one is Vrkarnam. Yeah, with an N. So Am is basic. There's an increment added. Ka. Stem final is lengthened. N. Ah. Oops. Like that. This one to retroflex by the influence. Basically dental. This N. And finally, in the view, in the eyes of the Indian grammarians, locative is the last case, the seventh. Ni. And E is the basic one of the suffix. We say, Vrki. Yeah. 
And E, of course, reflects A, E, short I. Just like here, this Vrkepya, that one, is the same thing underlyingly as this Vrkayoho, this sequence A, Y. Vrki, dual, repeats the one above. Vrkayoho. Just double check that one. Vrkayoho. And also A here for soup. Now here this A or E before an S, any palatal one there, any palatal vowel, will cause a dental S to retroflex. We can't get an A su in a Sanskrit word. So the capitals are here useful to show those mutated consonants in the suffixes and so on. And here it's worth, let's look at that genitive plural one again, pick it out, gen pl. So the underlying form is vrka stem plus um. Let me zoom in a bit. The form, the surface form, I'll put down here, and we'll work our way toward it. Is vurkarna. So nothing is subtracted from this. Instead, we get what's called an initial increment added. That's called for when you have the stem final a uh, followed by, followed by this affix. Now, one rule comes. The first rule comes along and says when the Suffix begins with a voiced sound, lengthen the stem final to a long ah. Vrka and ah. Then a rule says add a thing called nurp. And the T is also retroflex. D is indicatory. What n, what the d there tells us is it is added to the beginning of an affix. And the sound part of it is just the N, and the U is there to make it pronounceable, meaningless. Nam is then what is added. So this would give Vrka Nam. And then there's a Sunday rule that says when you've got R, any dental N following it in the word is going to be retroflexed. And so th you get this outcome. Let me actually underline form like this. And then here's the surface one. Vrkarnam. With exceptions to that rule. Isn't that fun? Okay. This derivation or this chart. Yeah, please do. Good one to practice by hand, too. So here's the full... Well, leaving aside the vocative, the vocative singular is just vrka with no final. And the Indian grammarians treat it as derived from the no nominative form by subtraction. Not a distinct case of its own. So I'll leave that up there in that magnification. Let's continue with a bit more Scottish. About me. Mood. Mood. Vod. Mutated initial. Mod. Hanyil me a alabanuag. Hanyil me. Hanyil me a alabanuag. Nuag. Okay. Hanyil me. Ah, with a graph. Albanuach, okay, Nova Scotia. So big, we'll say Gumor Ho. Ha, Canada. Ho, Moor. I wonder if this Ho is connected to the Latin com cum prefix. Oh, it's 
speaking of wolves, of Indo-European wolves. Put a few Latin forms up here. Lupus, let's do the same order of cases. Lupum. Uh, there was no instrumental. Dative would be lupo. Long. So, lupae, lupo could be continuing the same thing. Ablative also, lupo. Older od ending there in Old Latin, lupod. Uh, lupi, a different ending for the genitive that's not connected. And locative we didn't have. In the plural, Latin has lupi. Lupus. This is just for convenience. The root was the stem here was not lup, but lupu, lupo. Lupi nominative, lupos, as we saw, Lupos. accusative, dative, lupis. So, kind of not too far from this ice ending. I he ice going to east, lupis. Dative, ablative, same, east. And genitive, luporum. Peace, Luporum, and that's it. I am from Ireland. Uh, ha, me, us is from A, Erin, A, E, Rin. I am I am not. Hanilmi, right? A Asian. Hanilmi, okay. Uh, he is not from America. Hanil A A As. I mea raga as as means from an Irish. They must have done coda simplification. Well, here we have it preserved when a vowel follows. It would have fused with. Uh, she is from. Ha, she, as, I, me, right? I, mea, raga. Oh, my raga. I like Canada a lot. That's going to be gumor. Istolum, Canada, gumor. In Scottish Gaelic, Old Irish com, com, an equative prefix, don't know what that is, cognate with Irish ho and Welsh cun, so as. Proto Celtic com, abbreviation a. Oh, how cool, like in manuscripts maybe? Just a backward C? Open O symbol. Nice. Let's go to this Proto Celtic one. Com. Indo European. Com. With. Together. There it is. Perhaps from Kia. Beside. Near. By. With. Has combining form. Kyo. Kim. Tuch. Hellenic. Kata. Kim. Kimti. Hellenic kati kai. Casignetos. Oh, for sibling. Com chomtis. Giving casis. Don't know. Oh, how cool. Comios. I didn't think of this or know of this derivation of koinos, meaning common as in koine, the common language, common dialect. 
is from this com with a yo suffix. Kyom yos koinos. Komteros. Kyomteros, giving contra. Maybe an, inst an old instrumental suffix here, maybe. Let's see what that says. Ablative singular, same as control. Oh, the odd is the old ablative singular. I think also the masculine. Contra and German hinder, unsorted formations. Wow. Okay, Shun in Malto Slavic, Sun as in Soviet, and what else is there? Celtic, Kom, Kom, Kv, and Kun. Germanic ga, italic com, ne, great. And is this gu from that too? This go prefix. A lot of goos out there. From ko, yeah, looks like gu and ko be incarnate within uh, within Scottish. England is okay. Kerskulor. Ha. What's England? Sassen, the Sac uh, land of the Saxons. Sassain. Looks like a genitive. Something maybe, or maybe the maybe it reflects the ia. Place name ending. Levi says, also interesting, it uses Han il with ha there, as is Asian a. Ha uh, here is uh, is as. Okay, it's hard to tell where English leaves off and Gaelic begins. It says Asian a. He is from Ireland. This is Han il. Is as. Oh, okay, for to say the origin of, yeah, 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 gotcha. The copula distinction is different. Sassen, kert gulior, right? Gulior, there's galore, certain enough. Lior. Ha sassen kert gulior, kert gulior. Ha mi. As a mal sassen. Irish sentence uses permanent copula. Thank you. Yeah, but oh, we got there, I believe. But Scottish uses temporary for being from a place. Do you think that this ta and ha is from the stand root? To stand in a place like estar. Stech, to stand, that's what, yeah, okay, I'm not alone in thinking that. A ta, from modern Irish, or modern Irish ta, this looks like a compound stand at a place. That would explain the loss of the S. Ad ta. How nice. To be, to have. Permanent copula is is, which is SD. The old, that was never anything but a copula. It has special syntax in Irish. He is not from England. Hanil is it going to be a Hanil she. Hanil, I think the mutated form is generalized. Ah, with the other one. Sassen. Hanil a. Where are you from? Oh boy. Ko as aha hu. Ko as ha hu. That particle still written separately. Front where from? With fronting of the wh word. Ko as aha hu. Ko as aha hu. Eli eli. Eli. Where from a being you? Where are you from? Ian. Ko ha. Cool. Cool. Ass. Ass. 
question. Oh, uh, ha. Ooh. 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 Where the H would be, you'd expect the H, but denied it out, out of existence. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Iron Brew is not from Nova Scotia. Haniel Iron Brew as Alaba. Is it written that way? Yeah, always. And then Alaba, Scotland, Newark. Ah. All of, okay, oh, how cool. It doesn't want us. Look at that. We had us um, America. But here it's a uh, Alabanua. Maybe it's a mistake. I shouldn't get too excited, but what's going on with that? So Nova Scotia is the Latin name, meaning New Ireland, New Scotland. The, the Romans used Scotia for both, because it was inhabited by the same tribe. Uh, no, from Nova Scotia. Why is it not us? Before a vowel. Hanyil me a alapanuag. Hanyil me. Ah, again, all of the new look. So at least consistently so. Makes it, and they're usually reliable on points like this. I wonder where the 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 g suffix comes from. Where are you from, Ian? What's it? Ka Koas. Koas. Ha. U. All right, now let's get a nice rehearsal for free. So I'll just am out shas ta biham bis nge biham bis ngasi biham bis ngaso sam nge osup. Maybe I'm biasing a sip and biasing a so some new soup. Tip does G sip test her me first must. That'll be just the active part of it. Let that suffice for now. So we'll start learning that soon. Um, oh, let, I wanted to let's also go over those first few sutras and see what. Nouns belong in this wolf inflection class. Like I said, it's very common. So, what would go like in these? Not vurti, that ends in an e, different class. Gurnaha, which means virtue, so it has this paradigm. Gurnaha, Gurnau, the two virtues. Gurnaha. Iko Gurnavrti. Several things here. Dhatu is not in this class, and Lopaha is just like this, thematic. Ardha Dhatuka is a compound. The ka suffix ends in a, goes like this paradigm in the masculine. And ardha, from which this is derived, the root word has a short vowel. Ardha means half. Would also inflect like this in the masculine. Mitiche di divir tam, nothing like nothing there. Anantara is in this class. We have the long aha. Anantara eh. is in this one. And sanyogaha goes like this. It's masculine. Mukaha, meaning mouth, is in this class. Nasika is an adjective, right? Nasika. What is the nose? Nasika. Been meaning to look that up. Let's do it real quick. Is this an adjective nasal or is it the noun nose? Is what I'm wondering. Oh, and this, uh, look at that, the ata uh, that we had. This might explain the apparent uh, question particle. It could be a phrase medial preservation of this when we say ata. Uh, 
it was originally a verbal compound. So that gives ta initially, but non initially, if it's in the middle of a sentence, it comes out as a ta in Irish. Potentially, if if it's that simple. Maybe I'm oversimplifying it. Prototonic ta. Perhaps there's more going on. One thirty, let's stay Dude. 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 Town, I believe, or enclosed area. Chaniel Aiden Brew, a Glossaho. Okay, I do want to bank. Chaniel is not. Chan il Aiden Brew. Chaniel Aiden Brew, a Glossaho. A Glossaho with vowel. Glossaho. Insertion there. The cluster. Makes sense. It was too fricative. So that seems to happen between like consonants here, between two fricatives, otherwise, otherwise between two resonants. Okay, Alaba though, not. More to it than that. I do not like Stornoway. Chanil Malum. Ha. Ha Tolum. Tolum. Ha Tolum Stornawach. Stornawach. Anna is not from London? Cool. What does this tell us? This London is a Celtic name. The Romans called it Londinium. So what I get from this is that the old, so 2,000 years ago, this ND sequence in Scottish Gaelic, the outcome of that cluster is a long N. So maybe that's what's going on in those infinitive, or in those verb suffixes. Could be why it's long. Lunan. Maybe other sources too, but significant to me it is in the middle like that. No longer ND but a long N with assimilation. I am not from Inverness. Invernish. Chanil mi a Invernish. Here too, even though a vowel follows. Chan. Chan. Il. Mi. A. Inis. Nish. 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 Ha glossahu. Ha mor. Ha glossahu. Ha mor. Glasgow is too big. So big. This is Edinburgh. Sho dun at Eton. Sho dun Eton. Eton. And note the, it, these are calcs, these names, but with reverse word order. Head noun first, the town enclosure, Germanic burgas. No, different stem. Burgi maybe. Burgis. Dun, so initial here, final in the Germanic name for it, the English one. Ijan, being the same component, they're naming it. What is the suffix on in Vinish? From then, if the root is invir, right? Maybe this will tell us. Don't know offhand. Oops, etymology, inver. The river, in vir, ma, uh, river mouth confluence, in, inber, indber, endobero, carrying in. How cool. So this is like a, a word like stir up. Uh, starts out as a compound, nice and transparent, and then with sound changes happening, wears down into a single new stem. Endobero. River mouth. And analogous to Welsh aber, aberystwyth, from Old Welsh oper, aper, from Proto Brythonic. And it derives further the endo from, en, from an n with the laryngeal, the positional word, invir. And the nish, name of the river, 
from a proto-Celtic word describing great currents. Mouth of the Great Current River. Ha in your niche, hotrang. In your niche, hotrang. Trang. So busy. Chanil Sheoris Alunin. Chanil Sheoris. Sheoris. George. Ah, Lunin. Chanil Sheoris Alunin. George is not from London. Ha to Nichen, Trang. Dun Eachin. Eachin. Trang. Trang. Uh, means Edinburgh is busy. Chanel me a in your niche. Ah, in your niche. In your. In your. So it palatalized to just a year. Niche. End of the Of the niche. Of the miss. Chanel stjornavag. Chotrang. Stjornavag. Chotrang. Chotrang. Chanel at the region. A dun echum. I do not like Shornavach. Hanil ma no, I said ha tolum. Shornavach. Something like that. Stjorna vag. Stjor, is that accented or is that something stuck to the screen? Cool. So I need to put the Germanic Berg. Well, what ended up happening, it seems. Cool. Cool. Stop. I like para. Is tolum. Barra. Is Tullium. JFK went to Scotland. Ich bin ein Edinburgher. <laughs> Where is Is Tullium? Barra. Barra. Chanil mi a barra. Il mi a, a barra. Is Tullium Lurus? Lurus. Is Tull. Loom. 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 Lewis. Lewis. Ha ile ha arling. Arling. Ile is so lovely. Ile. Mo. Mulia. Ha. Ha. Skanyal. Skanyal. Ha mulia skanyal. Mulia skanyal. So it occurred to me that when I think about the ta and how, why the syntax is so different in the, let me use Irish for a second, comes more familiar with it at this stage. Ha, and then the subject intervenes, and then you get the complement of it. Agat, or an adjective or something. If it comes from the root stand, then it makes sense that the complement of the copula is not up there with it. With the with the old copula is, they've always been together. But with stand, the sentence at one stage, a sentence like this would have meant at one stage, I stand brilliant. I stand from Ireland, whatever. <laughs> Which also sounds like, sounds like a new English verb. Stand. But anyway, it was I stand or in this case, mill, mull, stands brilliant. Would have been an original meaning of this type of structure. So the brilliant is just hanging out in the sentence. It's not essential to the verb. Ha u ho arling. Arling. You are so lovely. Ha u ho arling. Ha u ho arling. Ha u ho arling. Who are you, father? <laughs> cool. cool. 
and then what's going to be for are you? Shivsha. 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 Ahar. Ahir. Ahir. Hami a Lewis. Ah. Ah. Lewis. I'm from Lewis. Iron Brew is not from Eile, I guess that one. Khan Yil. Khan. Il. I Brew. Ah. Ah. Yila. Yila. Khan Yil Muller, Khotrang. Khan Yil. Muller. Khot. Krang. Too busy? Not very busy? Not so busy. It doesn't stand that way. Who are you, teacher? Ko? Ko. Shivsha. 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 Ah, ah. Hitcher. 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 Ko as a hash of a hitcher. Ko as. As. Aha. Ha. U. Aha, shiv. Ko as a hash of a hitcher. 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 Really whistling the devoiced palatalized final R there. Hitch a hitcher. Oh, so this a ah, vocative particle would in Pinanese grammar be a nipata. It's a word we saw, which also is in this a uh, class. Where are you from, Anna and Eli? It's koas. Ahashiv. Koas. Ahashiv. Shivse. Shivse. Anna. Ayas. Haley. Ta has the more normal order, though. More complicated than other verbs. Flush in me. Let's do something. I listen. Da da da. Ta me. Something with is blank me. Right. Uh, copula and and its complement like to be they, they've always been together, there's no need to separate them. Whereas so it's right the complement it's inherent, like in Korean how the Ida verb is written onto the noun. There's a closer bond there. You can't take the complement away as easily as whatever else is present in the sentence after your intransitive ta verb. Note that it was the other way around, around in Welsh. In, in, within this type of verb phrase, it was complement first. Megan do e. I am Megan. Not do Megan e. So this, both syntactic thing uh, processes in the two languages, they still are verb phrase initial, but only one is inflected verb initial in that case. Let's hear more on pets. Oh boy, it's 12.30 already. Didn't mean to go so long, but so much fun. Ech. Each horse. How nice. Ech, like equus. And we see that's not a palatal final. That, that matches well with Latin equus. So this one. Ech. Equus. This goes all the way back to I.E. Equus. Oh, sequence there. Ikia and was for horse. So the os ending in, in Indo European is reflected in this Scottish word by the fact that it's not a palatal final, but a, a broad one, not slender. Tura. Tura. Ian. Ian is an in Irish. Fetnos, the winged one. Tura. Tura. It's couple, a French spot. So here, yeah, in some ways that we've seen so far, Scottish is more conservative. Ku also for dog instead of matra. Horse. Ech. Ech. Kura. So I would like to understand what's going on with the AO digraphic. Now close to the E, U, but it doesn't palatalize. Kura. Kura. It's now an U, I guess, right? Front 
rounded tense. And how did it get there? Why would it be spelled that way? Oops. Let me get it right. Chanil ech akam. Is not. There stands no horse to me, maybe. And I do not have a horse. Chanil ech akam. Ha ech gleva. Gleva. The horse is. Glee. Very good, very nice. A horse is. Gleva. Ha ech gleva. Ha. A wonderful example. A horse is very good, not nice. All right. Through where is my scholar section? A uh, horse is very good. And note where the mutation happens. Ha is a verb unto itself. So it's first, it's intransitive. This one. Well, it's adjectival, so I'm just going to leave it unmarked, and an adverb going with it. And so because it's in a phrase here, because ma is not the first word in its phrase, it had this initial, uh, this old vowel file thing in front of it, so it got the weak variant of the M with incomplete sealage. Va, gleva. Chanil, uan, akam. I don't have a... One. One. Is this Agnus? I do not have a land. One. Ognos, Hegunos, Latin Agnus, lamb. It's like E with schwa. No, wait. In Irish, I know it is a way to get a front vowel without slenderizing. Yeah. It's like E with a schwa on glide. E. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, can you think of any frequent words or words a beginner would know that have that one in Irish? Uman, quite different looking from Agnus. Kura, sheep, a little different to this one. Thank you. Final who one H prothesis and two one and two one. Hanil Uslevik. Sheep free. Oh, that name Sursha has that in it, doesn't it? Freedom. I think. Do you know this one? It's a female name and an abstract noun, I believe. Chanil u glave verk. You're not very big. Very small. Oops. Ha cat akat. Akat. Different spelling here. You have a cat. Just the unmarked mental. Ha kure akat. Kure, and was it A O I R E? Agat Kura. I'm curious about this. Kaura. Where did it come from? K 
Kura. Okay, they give it. What is this? Vowel. Oh my goodness. It's like in Korean, right? Is it unrounded central? High central? Close back, unrounded. Close back. Like, Kura. All right, but now with the origin, this one, Kafrachs. <laughs> wow, what a cool looking reconstruction here. Kap oh, Kaper, like uh, Cabriolet and those guys. Probably related. Kapros, goat. Yeah, Kapros, Latin Kaper, and Old Norse Haber. But the Phi R is difficult to explain. As it normally should have become BR in Proto Celtic. Neat. Upside down M is the rounded version of Bard I. Now this one is unrounded apparently. According to this source I've got here, close back unrounded. So starting from a cardinal vowel U in Du, just spread the lips. Ooh, 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 ooh. Kura. I do not like porridge. Ha tol lön brochen. Ech. Ech, the horse. Ech. Ha köre bria. 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 She. Are beautiful. Oh. Oh, sheep is pretty. One. What did that mean? One. Is that one oh, lamb word? One. I guess kura. Kura. A lamb. And that's right. Mixing it with a different one. This is like the u in Japanese. And kura. Lamb and sheep. Shanil Ku Akat. You don't have a dog. Ha me Gleva. Gleva. Very good. I am very good. Ha Luch Glevik. Vik. Luch. It's very small. Ech. 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 Ha ech gleva. This is very good. Gleva. Ha ech gleva. Hanil u glevik. Hanil u glevik. You are not very small. Ha kure akat. Ha kura agat. Ha kura bria. Bria. A sheep is pretty. Okay, let's give our eyes a rest. Let's just listen to a recitation a little bit and call it an evening, I think. Ayona Rodraka Yevo Ayavuch Hayavarata Lana Nyamanganadama Jabhaya Ghadhatasha Jabagadasha Kapa Chatata Chatatavu Kapaya Shashasara Hala Iti Maheshwarani Sutrani Atha Pratamo Jayaha Prathama Padaha Vridhi Radeech Adeng Gunaha Iko Guna Vridhi Nadha to Lopa Ardhatha to Kay Nitija Dithi Vitam 
हलो नंतरा संयोग मुख नासिका वचनो नु नासिका तुल्यास्य प्रयत्नम सवर्णम ना झलो ईदू देद विवचनम प्रगृह्यम अदसो मात शे निपात एका जनां ओत संबुद्धो शाकल्यस्येता वनार्षे उन्या हा उन ईदूतो च सप्तम यर्थे दाधा ग्वदाप Maybe let's transcribe it real quick. Why not? One one twenty. Da ta quadap. It's a, I think a rule unto itself. Doesn't need any context. Da ta quadap. We have a nice cluster that doesn't really occur much in actual language. What do you make of this? Da ta quadap. Kind of a nice ring to it. Uta ucha saptam yarthe. Da ta quadap. Uta ucha saptam yarthe. Sambuddho shakalya seta vanarshe. Uta sambuddho shakalya seta vanarshe. Uyaha. Uta. Idutau ca saptam yarthe dadha ghvadap Very nice. Good job. Nailed it. Kwa. Yeah, I don't think that occurs in any Sanskrit word. But it refers to the roots of a certain shape. It's more than just two roots. There's many that co coalesce in these forms. There's roots da as in to give. And dha means to bestow and put. Roots shaped like this are known by a collective term, by just a cover term, ghu, which is a convenient abbreviation. That's a ghu, exactly, because the line has a, has a line, right, and then sounds more like a qua than a literal qua. Right, because a V is not labiodental, but it's a, I think, what was it, a labiodental approximant? Bilabial approximant. And qua, with the aspiration, it does. It's not not purely voiced. Yeah, that's quite right. Not a gua, qua. Very true. Da ta. These are all nominative words. Oh, and the adap part. Hi, Ricochet. Oh, we're just about to call it a night. We've been going almost two hours. How you doing, though? Adap uh, is the negative prefix. And then this specifies one particular da root, adap. So one exception there within the same sutra. <laughs> Sorry, I hope to see you again soon. We're thinking about doing earlier in the afternoon for us, and then generally around 9, 9.30 in the evening. We've been pretty consistently streaming thereabouts. I'm good, thanks. Anyway, nice to see you again. Hope to catch you again soon. Somewhat. Oh, the background. Yeah, just, just in the other. The true. <laughs> Not nothing fancy. I just wanted to sit on the floor for a change. All right, everyone. Good night. We'll see you next time. I hope. <laughs>